What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you a review of the Raised by Wolves collaboration with Saucony on this Grid Azura 2000 Pack Leader. Raised by Wolves is a Canadian based streetwear brand and this marks their second collaboration with Saucony that released this year. So earlier on this year I reviewed their Jazz 81 collaboration on my channel and even though these released I believe back in March, I recently made a trip over to Ottawa and coincidentally they were having their warehouse sale which is where I managed to pick these up for a discounted price. So these originally retailed for a price of 160 US dollars or $210 here in Canada and the official colorway for this shoe according to the box is simply just grey. So jumping straight into the details, starting things off with the toe box, we have this base layer of ripstop nylon which is a bit transparent so the socks that you wear really do matter. Overlaid on top of this we have this dark beige colored suede which feels very buttery and soft to the touch and then overlaid on top of this surrounding the front toe cap we have more of a long haired shaggy suede which is done in more of a lighter grey tone. On either side of the toe box we have these silver reflective 3M hits which are inspired by a wolf's teeth and then moving further downwards you can see we have more layers of ripstop along with more of that long haired shaggy suede and reflective 3M teeth detailing which runs down the entire length of the shoe. Moving further down once again we have this grey coloured mesh and then that long haired suede covers the eyelets of the shoe. Beneath this on the mid panel we have more of that translucent ripstop nylon and then overlaid on top of this we have a TPU Saucony stripe which is done in this milky white coloured tone. So moving further down you can see we have more layers of this darker grey suede and that shaggy long haired suede and then we have this woven layer in dark grey which cuts across diagonally towards the back of the shoe. Moving on to the heel of the sneaker so on the very bottom we have this reflective 3M layer which is covered with a mesh layer on the top. Above this we have this woven heel pull tab and then at the top of the heel we have this very dark grey suede along with a medium dark grey suede and embroidered across in white we have the Saucony logo once again. In terms of laces, so these come with three different lace options. The standard default lace is a thick rope style lace in white with reflective detailing found throughout and unlike your typical shoe it's given more of a trail inspired look where the laces are held in place using a translucent plastic lace lock. And in addition to that standard white rope lace, they also give you two extra lace options right here and these come in variable lengths. So we have another pair of these white laces along with a darker grey coloured lace as well. Underneath this the tongue is lightly padded and it's covered in this grey coloured mesh and there's a woven strap running down the centre which the laces loop through helping to hold the tongue in place. And then on the top of the tongue instead of just Saucony branding, here we have both Raised by Wolves and Saucony branding embroidered across in a mix of white and red. And then moving on to the insoles, unlike your typical insole, the insole here is actually cork lined but it is backed by foam underneath. And then stamped onto the heel, once again we have Raised by Wolves and Saucony co-branding done in a mix of white and red. So the upper of the Grid Azura 2000 sits atop this full length EVA foam midsole which is painted in green with speckling of red paint found throughout. On the heel we have this grid branding on the lateral side and then turning the shoe over to the bottom the outsole is constructed out of this gum rubber finish and we have this triangular shaped traction pattern on the forefoot. This green portion you see in the middle, this is just exposed EVA foam and then running down the center towards the heel, this yellow colored detailing, this essentially acts as a TPU shank plate which helps with torsional rigidity and midfoot support and from a design standpoint, this is supposed to mimic the look of a wolf's eye. And then this dark portion right here, it might be a little bit hard to see, but here is where you'll find Saucony's grid technology, which in simple terms picture a tennis racket. It shares a similar look with this cross hatch pattern, and when you land on your heels for example, the impact that your shoe feels is rebounded back so it gives you that impact protection and shock absorption. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. And for those wondering about sizing, so my foot measures as a true size 10 slightly on the wider side. I picked these up in a size 10 true to size and they fit me kind of snug but I feel like if you have a narrow, normal or even a slightly wide foot and you like more of that snug one to one fit, true to size for this pair should be okay. But if your feet are a little bit more on the wider side and you like more of a generous roomy toe box then I would probably recommend going up a half size. So I felt like the toe box area specifically around this portion right here it ran ever so slightly narrow for me but because my feet aren't that wide it wasn't to the point where I felt like I personally wanted to go up a half size but I could see why it could cause problems for people that have wider feet than me. To give you guys a point of comparison I usually go up half a size as well in the Saucony Shadow 6000 so hopefully that gives you some idea of how these compare if you've worn a Shadow 6000 before. 
Moving on to the comfort. So the comfort of the shoe isn't bad. It's not the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn before. And I personally have worn more comfortable sock knee models as well. But I feel like the shoe has a decent amount of softness and cushioning underfoot. But overall, it felt a little bit more on the firmer and stable side. Maybe it's just a matter of breaking them in, which I haven't yet. And don't get me wrong, it still is a very comfortable shoe, especially for an everyday casual use sneaker. I'm just saying that I have a lot more comfortable shoes in my collection, if that's something you're expecting coming into buying the shoe. Finally, in terms of the quality and the craftsmanship on this pair. So first off, material quality was pretty nice. I was a big fan of the suede used on the shoe, both this long haired suede, as well as the flatter suede too. This felt very soft, very buttery, and you can tell that it's a nice genuine cut of suede. And then aside from that though, it's pretty much all synthetic. So we have the ripstop nylon, we have the meshes, along with the reflective panels. So I felt like this was a good mix of synthetic with genuine materials, giving us the best of both worlds. And from a build and craftsmanship standpoint, it wasn't perfect, but I felt like there weren't any major issues that I could find on this shoe. So for the most part, the panels were cut relatively consistently, and my left foot and right foot for the most part lined up and looked identical. I did have some noticeable glue stains surrounding this midsole area where it connects to the upper, so that probably was my biggest issue with this pair, but other than that, I thought it was decently well put together, and I was pretty pleased with how these turned out in real life. So with all that out of the way now, let me toss these on feet. I'll lace them up for you and I'll show you guys how these look. I think this is a really creative take and it's a really creative colorway of the Saucony Grid Azura 2000. Playing off of the name of the company Raised by Wolves, I think it really represents the wolf so well. And I love the choices of the materials used on this shoe, mixing the genuine leathers with, for example, translucent layers and reflective layers. So I think Raised by Wolves and Saucony did a really creative and really solid job on this collaboration. But obviously with the translucent panels, I know a lot of people aren't big fans of that, so I can understand why this isn't necessarily a shoe that everyone's gonna wanna have in their collection. So let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think about this Raised by Wolves Saucony Grid Azura 2000 Pack Leader colorway? Is this a shoe that you would pick up for the right price? Are you not a fan of the colorway, the design, or the silhouette in general? Leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, follow my Twitter account at sean.go, and visit my website at seango.ca. So thanks everyone for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and hopefully it helped you in some way. And I'll catch you guys all in my next review.